70 countries around the world, kids every single day have to worry when they walk out to get water for food for their family, when they walk the cattle out to feed the cattle, that they're going to lose a leg. Imagine that. In 1997, the International Campaign to Ban Landmines and myself were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. And um, I certainly am pleased that I was individually recognized. I was the founding coordinator of the campaign, but as I say when I talk to people all over the world, young people, presidents, it doesn't matter who, when you look at me, the, through my face, you should imagine thousands of people around the world who have worked together to try to deal with this problem. You know, the Peace Prize is not about Jody Williams, it's about me and other people working together to change the world. I recognized for whatever reason, quite young, that I wanted to do life a little bit differently. That I didn't want to just grow up to be a teacher or a nurse, the two things that when I was a kid, you know, you most often thought of for women to do. You were, my mother had wanted to be a nurse. My sister is a nurse. I was a teacher briefly. Um, but it didn't feel right. I wanted to do something different. I didn't know what that something was. I just knew that I wanted my life to be different from how my parents' life was. Not that I don't adore my parents and they've been wonderfully supportive, but I didn't want to get married and have two children and, you know, the white picket fence and that lifestyle. It wasn't for me. Um, I think part of it is my older brother. My oldest brother was born deaf in 1947, which I know for young people is a million years ago. But he was born deaf at a time where the philosophy of educating the deaf was to force them into the hearing world. They didn't allow families to learn signs so they could communicate with the child. And my brother's stone deaf. I mean, um, and kids made fun of him because he couldn't communicate. So I grew up defending him. Um, I was his, the, you know, his, the voice he didn't have. And it's just because you defend family. You defend people you love. If you start defending and speaking for one vulnerable person, why would you not want to speak for other vulnerable people? This isn't just about landmines. I mean, obviously landmines are horrific and what we've done will have a huge impact on that problem. But for me, it's much bigger than landmines. It's about any individual, any person in the world can do something to make the world a different kind of place. Better is, you know, it's a, one can use the word better, but different. Anybody can. Who would have thought when I was, I, when I started the landmine campaign as the coordinator, I was the only person in the world working to create a campaign to ban landmines. And look, we went from that to 1,400 organizations in 90 countries working together on this issue in five years. Anybody can bring about change if you work for it. It's just working for it. Change is hard work, but it's fun.